it seems obvious to write a book about this, but it wasn't obvious to me. It was the idea brought to me by Neil and by Martin and their partner Jim. So, first of all, thanks to them, thanks to you for coming. And the reason we chose a passage here, which is about the, the development system at Football Club Barcelona, is because I think that's one of the motors of why this club has been so alluring, not just successful, but why people have fallen in love with it. Certainly, it's a matter of great pride to them that there are so many of their own homebred players. You know, the reason that Barcelona needed Pep Guardiola was um, this new wave of thinking that he brought in about discipline. I mean, he's as intense, he's as OCD about his footballers and about the football environment as, as Alan Ferguson is. It's easy to look at a winning team and think that within that dressing room, within that training ground, there must be harmony, that they must like each other, that there must be some sort of commonality. And, you know, I think Roger votes that brilliantly in the early parts when uh, Mike is coming through and there, is, there are people in the dressing room who mock you or want you to fail or don't help you when you should or allow you into the casino when they shouldn't, in Brian Robson's case. The fouls on them, I think, are brutal, and now they're strategic. You know, in the case of Asia Delorno or Chelsea, you know, they saw the stud marks. There was this six or eight purple stud marks up about, you know, an area of his leg that could have ruined him forever. And I think he's continually subjected to brutal challenges and, and to challenges which would frustrate me. And if it were me, I, again, I'm not proud of this, but if it were me, I've imagined this many times, I'd, you know, I'd go looking for them, or, or we'd, we'd all snap. And he never does.